Neat. Sup, Brodies. So you guys don't know this, but I beat the game on normal, and my entire footage corrupted. All the episodes I recorded, as you can see right here. But guess what? That doesn't count because the footage recorded. And when you beat the game on normal, you get this idiot. But you won't be able to see the unlock screen because the footage recorded. Are you seeing a common theme? The footage recorded. Or corrupted. Fuck. You know what I'm talking about. I can't speak today. I, I woke up and I'm mad that I have to re-record all this guff that I recorded three days ago. And I was going to edit it yesterday. And then I imported my footage into my capture or my editing equipment. And it went 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%. <laughs> and then it said, you know, a movie studio is not responding. And I was like, well, what the hell is going on? So I looked into it. And apparently... What happened was about, I want to say like, hmm, 20 minutes into my recording session, because in one session I did pretty much all of normal difficulty in one sitting, which was pretty impressive by my standards, you know? But for some funny reason, haha, -ha, it decided to corrupt all my footage, because at 20 minutes in, when I was doing the second cup here on normal difficulty, it just got pixelated, and my capture equipment pretty much barfed all over the screen. So, I do apologize that I have to re-record this, and I do apologize for the small gap in uploads, but I had to do it to him. Because, damn. I don't know, PS2 games and me have a weird history, because, like, sometimes they'll work flawlessly, and the other half of the time they'll just bug out. It just depends on what it is. I don't know. Some PS2 games I've played work just perfectly on my recording equipment. Thank you. Popping those cherries. Give me that. Ooh, and I got a green shell. <laughs> I don't know. What else can I talk about today? Oh, yeah. It's freaking winter still, and it's February 19th. And also, guys, as of this recording session, I am no longer monetized. So if you guys want to actually support me, which, you, I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't want to. Um, God, give me the cherry. It, I don't know why you guys wouldn't want to. Is um, You can either just spread the word about me to your chummies. Or uh, go, to, go to my Patreon. My Patreon's really good. And I only charge people on the yearly basis. So I will only charge you on December 31st every year. Depending on what donation you have. Unlike a lot of Patreon people that charge by the week, or by the video, or by the month, I'm like, nah, I can't do that. And I missed that cherry, but there's always a second one, baby. Boom. And put that right there. And we're getting all the dots. But yeah, guys, I don't know. Demonetizing my channel was kind of a kick to the pants. But whatever. I understand why they did it. I just don't like why they did it, if you, if you catch my cold. You know? There you go. I'm pretty mean to the last place there. If you saw that. But hey. If I catch up to any of the other idiots. Oh, I got myself. Lol. That's okay. Oh, hey. For that, you get eaten. Here we go. Oh, I still got him. That's good. Go. Go. Oh, I couldn't catch up to the other idiots. Damn. I thought I was cooler than that. It's cool to be you. Let's just throw some snowman everywhere. There you go. And I got one more snowman buddy to keep me company. See? I'm just gonna jump over my snowman. Slaughter. Also, I didn't eat breakfast yet. So I'm gonna try to record uh, two episodes, of, or at least two episodes of this today. Before I get breakfast. So if I complain about being hungry ugh, for the next few parts, ugh, I'm sorry. You know, I should eat some Special K or some Oreo O's or some shit. Let's be honest. Oh, I missed. But what else was I going to talk about today, guys? Oh, yeah. Um, I need to watch more movies with friends. I got a whole bunch of buttons. See, I, don't, I forgot what I talked about on my failed recording session. That's another thing you guys don't get if you haven't done Let's Plays before or you haven't done YouTube content. Um, it's that when you're telling a story, the storytelling is the key... When you're telling a story and your footage gets corrupted, you completely forget that you told a story, and it makes it like a hundred times more difficult to actually remember what that story was so you can tell it again. 
And if it was a really good story, then you're just screwed. You know what I'm saying? My prince. I got it. Nice. See, I wanted to give them a loan. Melon. Aw. Oh. oh, that's fine. I got him. I had to do it to him. They're getting all my dots, though. See, look. They eat all the dots. Still got my melon, though. So I gotta take this freaking shortcut. Ah. Uh, yeah, that shortcut is so good. I love it. I got a red shell and two green shells for just such an occasion. God. Oh, nice. Double hit. That was mean, but I, you know, I had to do it to him. Also, guys, recommend stuff right now. I'm demonetized, so I'm going to listen to my fans a lot more, and I'm going to do it for the fun of, like, the passion of gaming, teaching people new games, me learning, um, like, what games I want to do, essentially. Um, so, yeah, shoot some game suggestions by me, please. That's all I want. To you, El Mario, thank you. Yes, and I do, El Mario, I do want this on... The PlayStation Network. I do. That'd be really fun. Add or ooh, if you added multi like online to it, that would be dope. Like, imagine this online, guys. That would be awesome. And jump. Oh, I missed it. That's fine. Also, guys, uh, the Incredibles 2 trailer immediately after it was dropped, uh, Shadman was obsessed with uh, Helen Parr in her robe. So of course he drew like 50 pictures of her. I'm, I'm exaggerating here of Helen in her freaking robe. It's Shad Man's a crazy guy. You can't stop him though. No one can stop the Shad. There's a whole bunch of artists like that that just do art because they freaking can. And if people don't like their art, then tough. That's the best way to explain it. Because I mean, Shad doesn't give a crap what you think about him. And that's how I should think. I should be more like Shad Man. Be like Shad Man, everybody. Uh oh, damn it! Overshot. Got greedy. You know. You feel me? I do love the king's car, or the prince's car. I call him the king. He's not that cool. He's not the king of the cosmos, most, most. There you go. I saved it. I got it. Uh, I don't need the melon, but I want it. And there's the line. Nice. Everyone was catching up to me, though. You know? And I wasn't going to have any of that. See, look. Devil Pack was super close. Which is weird, because on my first recording of this, I did a pretty good job like I didn't have any second place finishes and a whole bunch of them I did a pretty good job also guys I got a cool indie game that was I don't know it's alright it's an alright indie game um it's called Coffin Dodgers if you guys have heard of it it is a kart racing game that I got the Xbox One version I don't know what consoles it's on but I know it's on the Xbox One um that is a kart racing game when you play as a whole bunch of old people and they're all in like mobility scooters and death challenged them to a race uh, for their souls so the plot is like every single cup more old people get killed if they're on the bottom of the tier if they're on the bottom of the totem pole for the races and it's really really fun like I wouldn't like, find it I, I didn't think it would be fun but it was on sale on Xbox Live and my brother the Yeti who you guys should watch some of the content with Yeti um, he was like, oh, a bunch of people have told me that Coffin Dodgers is good. So I took the gamble. It was like five bucks. And I took the gamble and I got Coffin Dodgers. And it is a pretty dang fun game. I might do a, a retrospective on it. I might do a let's play or a long play of it. I did do a long play of it. Crap, I missed the shortcut. Nate, you idiot. Uh, I did do a long play of it through Mixer. But because nobody knows I have a Mixer, it was kind of a moot point because nobody watched it. For the entire one hour long play I was streaming, uh, I got zero views. So that's another thing you guys will experience if you get into Let's Plays or streaming is most people will not give a shit about your work. When you find people who actually care about you enough to watch your content or say, hey, you know, Nate's streaming, oh crap, I better watch it. That is when you know you've succeeded, you know? Oh, who clapped? Come on, Erwin. Erwin. I got you, Erwin. Got you. There you go. Erwin's going to fall behind. I know you'll be the next in line. Make a scene. Make a scream like you're losing your mind. Because you'll always be the next in line. I love that song. Let's on a list of artists I found through iTunes. Because iTunes, I don't know if they still do this because I haven't really bought anything through iTunes in 
at least two years. Um, but what they had was like a song of the week promotion. And if you did their song of the week, then you got a song from an up and coming artist's new album. And you got one single off their album, or you got one single, and then uh, you could get that song for free on your iTunes, which was dope. Um, but the weird thing about it was that I found actually a few artists that way, because they had a Band of Skulls song for free, which I love Band of Skulls. Uh, they had uh, Meese, is who I was singing, if you guys don't know. Uh, there was an indie rock artist called Meese, and they only had one or two albums, and then they broke up, but their second album or their first or second album, I don't know. It's the only one I actually bought. But I bought the whole album because of uh, the Song of the Week promotion that iTunes was doing. So, just saying, if your song is... Oh, come on! Yes! If your song is free, it can also promote you for people to buy the rest of your songs, which I did. But unfortunately, Next in Line by Meese is the best song off that album. The rest of them are okay. There's a few other good ones. But that song is oh, so good. And it makes me think of Johnny Test for some reason, ugh, because, ugh, because, uh, when I first listened to it, Johnny Test was on TV, and I had it muted, so I could listen to the song, so, one scene when Johnny was talking to Sissy, uh, was when the chorus hit, and every time I hear the chorus, I think of Johnny Test, which is unfortunate, because Johnny Test is terrible, and that song is so good, it's like, when I think of Hot Action Cop, I think of Futabu, unfortunately, because there's one song about a lady who is, like, really into, you know, going down. And for some reason, I keep thinking of Futabu. Which is a darn shame. Well, it's a good thing and a bad thing. I don't know. Guys, I don't reference hentai that often. I'm sorry. I won't anymore. But it's, it's just weird that my brain would immediately go there. But hey, brains are weird things. They're wired weird to make you think of other things when you think of things. So occasionally you may think of something good and it may make you think of something sad. You may think of something normal and it may lead to something like hot. It just depends on how your brain is wired and it's weird. And also that fake item immediately blew up that guy. No! At least I got the item out of that. Oh nice, and Devil Pat got whacked. He got double whacked. Am I right? And guess what? Oh god. Damn it. Oh great, they're taking the shortcut too. No, no shortcuts for you. I'm the only one allowed to take this shortcut. Uh, got you. Bop. Bop, 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 brand. Bop, 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 brand. Also, where's the grape spawner? Like, I totally missed it. Damn it. I totally missed it, and I don't know where it is. Nice. Thank you for ramming me, homie. There's the grape spawner. And it spawns right in front of the spider. I know this. I know you, and you know me, so why don't we get together and form a Destiny clan? I don't know. Don't like Destiny. No thank you, ma'am. Oh, damn it. There's another spot I can get a grape, though. But yeah, let's let's do a comment question, everybody, because I love me some comment questions. What is a game that everyone else loves, like all your friends, some of your family members, like, people you talk to just love that game, but you just couldn't get into. Comment question. For me, it's Destiny. Hated that garbage. I actually have the Destiny Edition PS4. That's what I have. That's what I bought. And I literally was so hyped for Destiny, because I was like, oh my god. It is a Bungie game, and I missed the grape again. It is a Bungie game. And I loved Bungie, because they made Halo. And I was so happy. And I was like, oh my god. It's time for... Pretty much Halo 2.0 is what we're going to call it. And it was so... It was overhyped and oversaturated. And a couple of my friends were going to play it. And I was like, oh man. i got to get me some Destiny. And then I got the Destiny Edition PS4. And then, I, I sh** you not. Um, I played Destiny for about five hours. And in that five hour period, because I played it at launch. Because I played vanilla Destiny. And I'm not going to get Taken King or any of that garbage. No thank you. And I, that was my own green shell. Um... Uh, during that, it had to update, like when I was in the middle of a raid, and when I was in the middle of story mode, and all this crap, and the crabby part about it was that it would kick you from the lobby, even if you are playing single player, and then, uh-oh, you needed that 8 gig patch, and then since my internet's a potato, it was like, oh, hey, cool, you gotta wait f***ing 12 hours to play Destiny again, and then by the time you play Destiny again, it, um... 
You got to play it for like two more hours, and then version 1.0.7 came out, which was another 8 gigs, and then, uh-oh, you got to wait another 12 hours before you play Destiny. So I eventually got sick and tired of it, and I was like, you know, screw it, I'm playing one of my other games. Because when I bought my PS4, I had uh, Watch Dogs 1, uh, Destiny 1, what else did I have for my launch titles, or for my first wave? Because I had a big grip of games. Oh, Lego, the Lego, uh, the Lego movie game. That one was alright. I gave it to Stephen recently. I just gave it to him. I was like, here you go, bitch. Um, so yeah, I had that. And then I had one more game, and I totally forgot what it was. But I know for a fact I did not play Destiny that much. And I know for a double fact I bought a lot of other games immediately after it that were so much better. You know, my collection of PS4 games is incredible. It is a great, great collection. Also, another thing, guys, I have so many limited run games, I don't want to buy anymore unless they're ones I really, really want because I keep them sealed and I have a stack of, let's count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 brand new sealed limited run games that they only made 1,000 to 2,000 of each of them and I really don't want to play them because... I know I'll still get my money back out of them if I did, you know, end up selling them or whatever. But I can get them digitally for a good price, so I don't want to. And on the next installment of Pac-Man World Rally, we're going to talk more about my day. And I'll play the Grape Cup again. This is where it corrupted last time, so knock on wood that it does fine. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next limited run.